Hello everybody. So if you've been a long-term follower of my channel, you'll know that I recently bought this Dell XPS 17 9710 for 2021. And you'll know that this laptop is really great, but the main problem with it is that it only has four USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports, and it just does not have any of the USB-A ports. And it doesn't have ethernet ports, it doesn't have a lot of different things. So that's why some products like this would come to the rescue. So that's why I'm going to take a look and review of this particular USB-C hub product and see if it's any good. And so if you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and so you get more content like this. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So this product is by a company called Zimui Pig. I think, Simui Ping. These products come in a variety of brand names, but they're probably made by the same few large companies. So for this particular USB-C hub, you see that it has 4K compatibility for your monitor. It also can connect a lot of different things that uses USB-A, such as your keyboard, your mouse, USB drives, your hard disk drives, external drives, gigabit ethernet. So basically, the thing I worry about is if I, for example, travel and go to a hotel and it doesn't have Wi-Fi but only has the wired Ethernet, then this could come in useful. Then it also has super speed USB, which is the USB 3.0. And then it's also new MacBook compatible. All right. And then so this is a 12-in-1 USB-C hub and it has two HDMI ports, a VGA port. So I'm going to try it out with one of my older monitors, a RJ45 port a audio and mic, two USB 3.0, two USB 2.0, a PD, a SD and micro SD slot. Okay, so it's a multi-function USB-C adapter. And so let's take a look at the features here. So you can see that HDMI 1, you can have 4K by 2K, which is 3840 by 2160 at 60 Hertz. And HDMI 2, you can get it at 4K 30 Hertz. And then USB-C port, it has power delivery available, so it can be limited to 87 to 96 watt for safety. And I've also read that there are some reports that these kind of hubs could potentially damage your laptop through the power delivery. So I'm not sure if it's a good idea to try this. And so use that at your own risk. So it supports 100 watt power adapter. So we'll see if it works. And so we also have a 3.5 millimeter audio microphone jack, two USB A's up to 480 megabits per second data speed, and also has a VGA port up to 1080p at 60 Hertz. And then we have RJ45 gigabit ethernet, a SD micro SD, which reads at 50 to 104 megabits per second, write 30 to 80 megabytes per second, and we have USB-A ports, there's two USB-A 3.0. And so I see a lot of different USB-C hubs out there and a lot of them do have HDMI and VGA ports, but they can only mirror each other and it cannot extend. So what I want this particular hub to do is to extend across multiple monitors. So we're gonna see if that works. So let's open this up and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so there's the USB-C hub, and then we also have a user's guide, and doesn't look like there's anything else in the box. So the user guide, it gives you a little talks about the clone mode, and then we have the extended mode, and then it talks about the display settings for a Mac, and then it has an FAQ, and then it also has some customer service information. All right, so that's the product manual. And the hub itself, so there it is. Okay, so it's quite lightweight, so quite easy for traveling. And so it actually has a quite a long USB-C cable here, so that's nice. So some of these shorter accessories, they're kind of annoying because they all get clumped up in one area for, and it kind of like blocks your, your power at, adapter and so on. But this one, this one is quite long. So basically you can just like hang it behind your laptop and it should be fine. So we can see here, we have all our different ports. So we have a, looks like the power outlet and then HDMI one, HDMI two, 
This is a USB 2.0 port. Then we have a VGA port and a gigabit ethernet port. And then there's our SD card and micro SD card slots. And then here we have a USB 2.0. And then these two blue ones are the USB 3.0 ports. Okay, so quite a simple design. Oh, and there's also the audio microphone jack here. So that's a pretty simple product. It seems to be quite durable, well-really made. All right, so we're gonna give this a try and see if everything works properly. All right, so as you guys can see here, I have the Zenmui Ping USB-C hub hooked up to my Dell XPS 17 laptop. And so far, what I have here is I have the VGA plugged in, that's the blue cable, and HDMI, that's the closest one you see here, as well as a two USB-A's that I've used. So this one here on the left-hand side is for my Kensington trackball, which is a mouse. And also this other USB-A here, this is for the light that I am using. So let me show you what I mean. So here we have the Dell XPS 17 laptop. So basically one of those USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports are used for the USB-C hub. And not all USB-C ports will work with this hub. So notice you need a USB-C port that can support display out. So a Thunderbolt 4, Thunderbolt 3 port will do. So this Dell XPS 17 nicely has four Thunderbolt 4 ports, so it can support three displays. So as you can see here, I have three different displays. So the top display is using one of the HDMI out ports on the C Mui Ping USB-C hub. And then this really old BenQ monitor from like a long time ago, this is using the VGA port on the set Mui Ping USB-C port. And then this Kensington trackball, this is what I use instead of a mouse because I don't want to have carpal tunnel or any other wrist problems. So that's why I'm using this trackball here. And that is using a USB-A connector, which is over here in the back. That's the Kensington USB-A adapter. And then this other USB-A port here is used to power the light. So as you can see, this USB-C hub by Simui Ping is actually quite good. It can actually extend the display from my laptop. So you can see that the displays are all different. So I can actually extend multiple monitors, at least two monitors here in my particular case, which is what I bought this USB-C hub here for. And I also saw some comments from some users that this USB sub can get pretty hot, but just touching it right now, it's actually very cool. Even though I've been using the dual monitor setup for about some time now, and it's still actually just cool. It's not even warm. It's actually still staying quite cool. So seems to be working quite well so far, and I'm happy with it. Okay, so if you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.